Hi everyone, welcome to Homeschool Autism Life. My name is Jamie. If you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you are not new, thank you so much for coming back. I have been super, super excited about today's video, just talking about what our plans are for Christmas, and it's kind of a plan with me for Gather Around Homeschool Christmas Unit. Hint, that's one of the things we're doing, and I am just so excited about this year. So if you're new, I am Jamie, of course, and my um, life is all about homeschooling. My three children. I have three kids. One is 12 year old autistic boy and then I have two girls. And this is the first year my girls are being homeschooled for for reals. <laughs> it's not due to COVID. We chose to do this after we had had a chance to do the COVID co-teaching. And then my son, I've been homeschooling him for four years and I am like just cannot believe that it has been that long already. But I'm super pumped and excited about this Christmas specifically because my girls are home. And I always, when I was doing the school, running back and forth, getting presents for teachers, um, the girls' school had like 12 days of Christmas, and so there was dress-up days and, you know, party days, and like there's so much going on that whole season. I always felt like everything that I was doing for my kids and my family, I was kind of like trying to squish it in in the few hours that we had left. And so I'm really, really, really excited about this Christmas for the fact that I can do this in rest and enjoy, <laughs> enjoy the time that I have with my kids. And that has been super, super exciting um, and planning how I'm going to do all of this and stuff. So let's get into it. Um, one of the major things that we're doing is we're taking most of every other subject as far as academics go. I think it's we'll furt. still... Furt. furt. Okay. Um, <laughs> we're we're going to take most of the subjects, the extra subjects off uh, over the Christmas break, the entire month of December, and I don't feel the least bit guilty or upset. I think we'll probably do math for about 12 days, but I think the rest of the time I'm just going to enjoy having my kids at home at Christmas time do all the things. Right now they're outside playing in the snow. We live in Canada, so there is lots of snow already <laughs> and you know we'll have hot chocolate and we'll have cookies and we'll be doing all of the things that I always felt were pushed and crunched into a little time frame. The girls also want to do lots of crafts and stuff and so I want to be available to do all of that and have the time to do it. So the major idea is squish down school, make it authentic and really intentional time to talk about the reason for the season and all of that kind of stuff but spend time together. So one of the things, so I have already said that we're doing Gather Around Christmas. So this is my teacher's guide because I have another box and then all of their books. And I am super pumped about having school essentially be one of those things, one of those ideas. Um, another thing that I decided to do is one of our read alouds for Christmas is going to be a classic, kind of, sort of, but it's Charles Dickens' um, The Life of Our Lord, and he wrote this for his kids, and it wasn't something that got published for quite some time, and so I thought, you know what, I'm not a huge fan of reading a lot of the other classics. I know I'm horrible and I'm awful, but I just find them really wordy and I know horrible, awful. Uh, <laughs> but we watched those movies, the adaptations from those books. But this one I felt was a little bit different and it's like a love letter from him to his kids talking about his relationship with Jesus. And I really, it's just yeah, I just thought it was great when I read it and really wanted to incorporate it into our lives. Oh, and I forgot something. Just a minute. And I'm back. 
the magic of video. <laughs> the other thing that I really wanted to incorporate with the Christmas unit was the Advent season. I've always wanted to do it and have never really had a chance or thought it was going to fit into our lifestyle and so I really wanted to do that. I also really wanted to purchase um, Rebecca Spooner's Advent stuff but it was just too expensive and I had already spent my money for that was allocated for the kids schooling. So I went searching online. Now I will link a couple of these down below. Um, I have some that I think I might do some other years and this one I'm doing this one but I ended up going online and finding it's the best of all kids advent devotionals it's very very braggy <laughs> but um, I want to do some designs that the kids do um, we're doing painting of Christmas leaves and Christmas cards and stuff like that and I just want to put little pictures around but it just it was one of those things that I thought you know what since I can't afford oh and I'm probably not showing that very well um, I want to do decorations around and something that they can be proud of as well and then it's just different readings that we would do every day um, talking about Isaiah and all of that kind of stuff the one thing that I will say about this particular one the best of all <laughs> kids uh, advent devotionals is that the when I went to print it it kind of got all gobbly gooked for some odd reason and so I've had to be really careful as I've been tape or gluing this into my really fancy advent book um, I really needed to be careful to make sure so if you look at this one and you read it and you go oh I really like that one just be aware but there's a couple of others that I'm going to put down below because I thought they were really awesome as well. So one of the first things, we're just finishing up our space unit. And so one of the first things that we're going to do for our Fun Friday activity is we're going to make an advent wreath and make candles because I've got lots of wax so that we can like melt it down and turn it into a candle and put it around the table. I'm still not sure yet if I'm going to do like cloth or paper or like I honestly don't know yet and I think that's kind of part of the fun of doing this with the kids so I'm really excited that I think will be the last Friday in November that we do the advent um, wreath that we're going to make and so I'm super pumped and excited about that I think the kids are going to really enjoy it so the other books that I got, and I've got a few here that uh, I got just for the kids to kind of look through and read, but one of the other ones that we're going to read aloud is this, and uh, I'm going to say it wrong, Ellis Island Christmas. There we go, we did it right. Um, this one I got simply because later in the year we're going to be doing a North America and so I kind of wanted this to have, be an idea that they have in their head about people coming from other countries to settle in North America because we were settlers in North America. Um, actually quite recently just after the Second World War my family on my mom's side came over and so it's a really cool thing that they can link within themselves and the world of history. The other thing I got was this National Geographic Weird But True Christmas. So I got both of these from bookoutlet.ca for the Canadian. They have a .com for the United States. So while we're doing the read alouds, I actually got a couple of different coloring books. If you've watched this channel before, you know that I like to keep my kids' hands a little bit busy when we're doing read alouds. And so this is another um, one. It's just Viva La Color Christmas. And so it's got little Christmas trees, little snow globe action. And then I got this one for me. No, I, I kind of did. <laughs> I kind of did. But I also got it for the girls. And we just take these and we photocopy them. But it's a little bit more grown up for my older daughter. And I thought she might really appreciate these and it's something that we can do together and I'm super pumped and excited about it. 
Now for my son, if you've again watched this for any length of time, you know that my son's not huge into coloring and art stuff. And so to include him, I also bought this I Like Christmas and I just love the, the stickers in here because he can change it up. He can do all sorts of things. So even they're like Christmas bulbs so he could make a Christmas tree. Um, he can make a room. There's dogs for Christmas. <laughs> There's santa e type things. But yeah, no, so I'm really excited to be able to do this with him. And it's more up his alley. So the other thing, when I was a kid, my parents uh, spent some of the money they got from their parents to buy us a thousand piece puzzle. And thus far with my autistic son and my younger daughter, who's kind of squirrel, squirrel, look at that, look at that. I haven't been brave enough to start this family tradition, but I'm doing it this year. <laughs> and so we got this puzzle from a grandparent and I am going to do this with the kids since we're just coming off of space. I figured it was something that would be fun and energetic for the kids. And I don't know if you you can see it but this is a very 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 busy space <laughs> um, I'm glad it's not this busy but it's a lot of fun it's showing the International Space Station it shows the shuttle it shows the lunar module the rover astronauts there's satellites there's all sorts of thing I think that might be Hubble maybe but there's all sorts of things that we can talk about in reference to what we've learned in the past so the last thing when we're talking about arts and crafts and stuff like that, um, I have saved a lot of the, the cards, Christmas cards, there we go, my brain. Uh, and I want to do something that my mom did where she cut these into octagons and then stapled them all together. So maybe if I get this done fairly soon, then I can show you, but I'll show you sometime. But it's really a fun activity that I wanted to do kind of to bring my mom who passed away into our Christmas festivities because it's something that I remember doing with her. So Christmas is going to be awesome and I am so happy and excited about doing all the crafts and you know my daughter wants to learn how to crochet and I'm like this is the perfect time and we're going to be watching lots of movies that we can get from our library. I have a bunch of different Christmas books that I have in my cart if it's a cart um, for the Christmas season and I'm really excited about looking into those and having my kids be watching that kind of stuff and looking at that kind of stuff and reading that kind of stuff and it's just a time to relax and enjoy Christmas. So that's what I'm doing. That's my plan for our Gather Around Christmas uh, unit and I hope that this has been helpful. I hope it makes you kind of feel like in the season I was going to have Christmas music on in the background but I'm like I'm a little tired today so my brain is not firing <laughs> with distractions so I hope that you have had fun with this we will see you next guys next time everyone have a Merry Christmas and a wonderful New Year bye